Hello YouTube, this is a video about a ultra compact Ford design I came up with um, on request by Damien. This is the uh, fire bowl, as you can see it's a, a brake drum uh, design basically. It's bolted to a flange, that is a very simple weld. A very simple air valve system, that's also the ash dump at the same time. And the air intake is on the side. And the fire grill, we have a round plate of about, what's that, 3 eighths of an inch of um, cast iron. It's not steel, it's cast iron, so it's much more durable in heat. The air comes in through seven holes in a star pattern and the whole thing just drops into this forge frame it's also very simple as you can see the legs are just um, stuck in these tubes and they are fixed with bolts so you can carry the whole thing around without the legs falling out you can even adjust the height if you want to in case you have uneven ground Sorry for the shaky video, I was just doing this quick and dirty by myself. And as a blower, I'm using a squirrel cage type blower that came out of an induction stove. Um, it's moderately powerful, but powerful enough to get to welding heat, so that's uh, absolutely adequate. It's very quiet, which is nice. And it doesn't take a lot of power, it's 12 volts, so you can even run it off a car battery for probably about a day or so, so it's really not a problem. And that's the big forge there, it's been around for six years, so it's a bit rusty by now. It's basically a weldless design, apart from the um, intake flange. It's all bolted together, it can all be replaced, and the principle is exactly the same, the fireball fire pot, um, it's also the same brake drum, also with a cast iron grill and uh, some extra fire bricks on the side here um, to make bigger fires and more insulated fires possible. And of course we have a, a flue uh, to take away the, the smoke. There's an extra little hatch in the back so you can stick long stuff through the fire. And there's an adjustable well, adjuster for the, the stove pipe or the, the, the flue because it's sometimes a bit windy outside so you can adjust this depending on what kind of angle you, you want. Very simple design. And here the uh, portable one is lit. This is just a bit of charcoal to get the fire started. Heat that old horseshoe up to turn it into a candle holder. You can see um, the air gate makes quite a big difference whether it's closed or when it's open. And, uh, it's, I guess you can, you can hear by the sound that there's enough air to get to it easily. And this is with a uh, green coal on. I won't be going into much detail anymore but that's it, yeah. 